Hey, good afternoon, y'all, or good evening. I don't know, it's night time already. Um, we took Mallory out today to try to get her first buck. Didn't see anything except for a squirrel. My buddy shot a beautiful bobcat, uh, big old Tom. Besides something weird happening with his back, he's got like a little spot right there. If you guys can see it. There we go, maybe that's more clear. Um, that's not from the shot. So we're assuming that he got in a fight with something. But it is a male, big old Tom. I don't know, he's probably about 30, maybe 40 pounds. Um, I haven't done any skinning videos, any tanning videos, anything like that. So my goal tonight is to get this guy completely skinned out and get him fleshed out and hopefully on the stretching rack tonight. So I'm going to bring you guys along with that process. I will say... It may or may not be bloody, so if that's if you get squeamish with that kind of stuff, just go ahead and no hard feelings if you exit the video. But if you want to stick around and watch it, I'm not a per perfectionist. I've only skinned three of these, and the other two weren't the best. And I've never tanned a bobcat hide, only coon hides and deer hides. So bear with me. I think the worst part for me is going to be the tail. I'm going to try to take my time on that. Um. I really don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I would like to try to leave it whole. But if I have to split it, I have to split it. It's going to be a little gift for him. He does a lot for me and my family. And he's been a good friend for a while. So when he shot it, I told him I'll tan it for him and get it back to him. Hope you all enjoy the video. And there might be a lot of time lapses. I'm not sure because this might be a long process. But we'll see how it goes. I also forgot to mention, uh, don't mind the mess. That buck that I shot yesterday, he was hanging here a few hours ago. So I still have the blood and everything down from the tarp. And then I'm trying to do a John boat rebuild and the garage is just a disaster. So try not to judge me too much on that. It sits above the mantle on a couple rusty nails. And it's worth a bunch of money, but it damn sure ain't for sale. The good Lord only knows all the stories he can tell. Granddaddy's gone. He bought it new out of the Sears and Roebuck catalog. And it shot a mini shell over the top of an old bird dog. And it backed a burglar down when Grandma took the safety off Granddaddy's gun. It's just a double barrel twelve. The stock is cracked and it kicks like hell. It wouldn't mean what it means to me to no one. I can hear his voice when I put it to my shoulder. Guns like a woman, son, it's all how you hold her. Taught me a whole lot more than how to hunt. And one of these days I'll pass it on to my son. Granddaddy's gone. He handed it to me. Day I turned 13 with a half shot box of shells and a kit to keep it clean. I keep a picture in the case of that sweet old man and me. And granddaddy's gone. It's just a double barrel twelve. The stock is cracked and it kicks like hell. It wouldn't mean what it means to me to no one. So as y'all can see, it's taken me a while to skin down. Um, 
mostly because I'm trying to take my time and make sure I don't put any nicks in the hide. I want this to still look real good. kind of unsure about how he wants it, whether or not he wanted it split down like a kind of like a ruggish look or more, the best way I can explain it, like a sock or like a puppet kind of. So we're going to go with the more the puppet. And then if he wants to split it down the middle later to hang it up or something, he can. turn the headlamp on. For the reason I brought it out here. And I'm also trying to go nice and slow so I don't have too much muscle on here. So that when I go to actually uh, flush it out on the beam, it won't be as vigorous. And of course I'm dealing with a sharp knife, so those of you that are familiar with skinning, you're more likely to nick it if you have a sharp knife.
that's where you find the keeper.
so that's going to wrap up this section. Um, so we did, so we skinned them, of course, and then I cut the head off. So I'm going to do a European mount for them. Now what we're going to do is flush the hide. Hopefully it's not too bad. I did the best I could at a at a getting all the meat off there, but there's obviously still meat on there. And then we still got to play with the tail some. Try to figure out where to do the tail. That's probably what I do now. Is I'll try to get that tail uh, out of there. So. Not bad, but I will say um, this video itself is like 50, 55 minutes. It's going to be about an hour long. So we're definitely either going to split it up into segments or I'm going to try to um, turn parts of this into a uh, time lapse if I can figure that out. If not, this is probably the video number one, and then I'll make a video two and three and all that other stuff. But I'm going to try to make it all one video. But if this is the end of this video, go ahead and check on the next one. If not, stay tuned. I don't know how this is editing is going to go. But right now we're going to go ahead and get that tail taken care of, and then we will work on the actual flushing, which should be easy, I hope.